Hello guys, today I will show you how I made this 30 data logger device for studying the appropriate places to plant the saffron flower and processing the data which is temperature, humidity and intensity of light in real time using GSM and server. So this project started from this PCB here where I've used six different components DHT12 sensor for measuring the humidity and temperature GSM module to send data to the server, STM32 which is the brain of this system, SD card module and an LDR to measure the intensity of light. And to manufacture my 30 PCB, I went to gscpcb.com, I have uploaded my gear profile, select all my uh, peripheral features and uh, from color to quantity and then I save it to my card. After three days, I have received my PCBs and uh, to be honest, the quality was super good and I'm completely satisfied with these PCBs. And now let's talk a little bit about the soldering part. Actually, it was the most painful side of this project since there is around 13 PCB to be assembled and tested in short time so that uh, makes this process so difficult for me and the second problem was the fake component existing in our market where I was bound to test each component before solder it and that takes a lot of time and a lot of energy If you have a 3D printer and you didn't use it in such as project, that's mean you are not creative. Oh no, I'm just kidding guys. I have used my 3D printer to print lithium battery holder and that for saving some dollars. Actually it was amazing and you can see the result here. One of the most important tests in such as device, I mean the data logger, is the power consumption. What I was obligated to use the sleep mode in both of STM32 microcontroller and the GSM model which is the SIM800. Also I have removed some extra LEDs from the STM32 for conserving the energy more and more. After assembling and testing, I have preserved our system in a custom electric case and define each device with a fixed number to link it with our server later. And before the delivering of this project, I have tested each data logger all alone, where this device used the HTTP protocol to send the temperature, humidity and the intensity of light every 2 hours before sleeping using 2G connection to a web page made by our IT team Hurul AZ. And to take a clear vision about this project I will explain a bit. Here is the different Safaron farms where our system is fixed and you can navigate in each position you want, where you get real time infos about temperature, humidity and intensity of light. This will help the searchers to define the best places for the plate of the Safaron using the statistics tool in our website. And just to clarify, one kilogram of Safaron can cost $160,000 as you can see here. If you like this project guys, let me know in the comment section below, I will read all your comments there. And please share this project because that helps me to grow in a quick time and I will appreciate that.